Hi everybody, this is Lori from the Children's Museum of the Brazos Valley. Today, we're going to make noisemakers. Okay, for this project, you will need cardboard tubes, yarn, elastic bands, double stick tape if you have it. It's not a problem if you don't. Some painter's tape or masking tape. Um, some kitchen paper, tissue paper, lightweight kind of paper, and a little bit of rice. Okay, let's get started. So, I have a tube from a paper towel, and the first thing I'm going to do is wrap double stick tape around one side. don't have double stick tape, when you start the yarn, you can just put your yarn down and just stick a little piece of tape over it. It'll be fine. So this is a noise maker that we're going to blow into like a little kazoo. Okay, so I'm taking the yarn, sticking it on the double stick tape. I'm going to get as close to the end as I can. And then I'm just going to wrap. I'm going around and around. You can use yarn, you can use string, you can use twine. Again, whatever you have on hand, and use your imagination. Okay. Try to just sit the yarn next to itself as you wrap. Wrapping is a really old way of decorating. People decorate with um, wrapped rope, wrapped wood, you can make jewelry, all sorts of things. Okay. When you are finished with your first bit of yarn, This way, hold it down, tape it, in place. Just like that. When you start your next piece, tuck that under the tape too. Or if you have the double stick tape, you can just plop it on top. And continue wrapping. Wrap, wrap, wrap. Okay. This is red and shiny. I'm going to continue, and this is going to be one color. You can continue with one color, or you could play around with patterns. This is purple with a little stripe of pink on either side. So solid, stripe, solid, stripe, solid. That's a pattern. This pattern was fun to think of. 
Maybe you're learning how to count. Maybe you're learning to count fancy, like by twos or fives. Um, you can make a pattern using those numbers and wrap your yarn in different colors for the uh, number in the order of your pattern. So what I did was I started with eight and then I thought, hmm, if I had two eights, I would have 16. If I had eight and I cut it in half, I'd have four. Then if I had double eight, four times two, I mean, uh, double four, then I'd have eight. Then eight, 16, four, eight, 16. That's how I did my pattern. And I changed the color yarn each time. It didn't repeat until all the way down here when I got to dark blue again. You could do five, 10, 15, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three. There are lots and lots and lots of patterns. You can do whatever pattern you can dream up. Okay, so once you have gotten all the yarn on your tube, you would end it the same way you started. Just fix it with a little piece of tape. Now this tube is a kazoo. So I put a square kitchen paper, parchment paper over it. It will work best if your paper is um, snug. Hold it down with an elastic band. And just like a kazoo, you can sing into it. <laughs> Use your kazoo for a Zoom birthday to honor our medical heroes and essential workers on Friday evenings at seven. Anything, just have fun. Make a little band at home. Another thing you can do is you can make a shaker. I made this shaker by covering the bottom. Before I started to wrap, Bring the bottom with tape. You could probably also use the paper on the bottom. The tape is stronger. It's up to you. put just a small amount of rice in my tube. And I covered up my end. Your tube would be all the way full. Okay, and then six, six, six. Have lots of fun. Use your imagination. Take some pictures or little videos and send it on to us at the museum. Bye-bye.